All right, welcome back. Today we're going to finish our skeletons by adding details and color to our drawings. So here's my skeleton. He's riding a skateboard. He's doing an invert or a hand plant on his skateboard ramp, which is down here. That's a detail, skateboard ramp. That's a detail, a house, a sun, a cloud. Those are all details. Um, once you have details in your picture, you're ready to outline it and color it in. So I'll take my Sharpie and outline it. So here's my little apartment building. So I'm outlining all of the details of everything before I color them in. This helps me keep things in their own space, helps separate things so I know where, what's what. Um, do your skeleton too. Do not color with the black, especially if you have a Sharpie marker. We'll use our color crayons to color these. If you have a really small detail that you'll lose if you Sharpie it, then just skip it. But it has to be pretty small for you to really mess it up. So even like these teeth were able to show with the Sharpie. All right. The only thing you shouldn't color is the skeleton because skeletons are white. All right, now I'm ready to, I'm not ready to start coloring, but I just want you to get the idea of what you're supposed to be doing. So you do have to color this whole picture in. Let's see, I'm going to make a, oh, I'll make an orange building over here. So I'm going to take my time and color around my windows. And then I'll go back and color my windows in. And I think I'm actually going to color my windows black. So I'll kind of have my, my Halloween colors going here. I can't say I've ever seen an orange apartment building, but I'm not against it either. All right, so black windows. Looks like a very strange jack-o'-lantern, maybe. Can't help but thinking about stuff like that when it's this time of year. All right, so that's colored in. The other thing you might want to try is mixing colors when you color. So watch what I do here. I'm taking all of my different oranges out. And look at how many oranges I have. Look at, well, that's not orange, but red orange, scarlet, yellow orange, and then regular orange. And then I could use red as well. Scarlet's going to be almost a red color, so I'll start with that on the outside of my sun. And then I'm going to go to the next darkest color, which is red-orange. And I'm going to blend that right over the scarlet. Now you might not have a scarlet in your set, but you probably have a red if you want to put a little red on that sun. Next I'll go to regular orange. Then orange-orange. Or is this? No, this is yellow orange. Sorry. And I better bring that in closer. And then yellow. And I'll go back over that with some reg some yellow orange. Fade it in. I don't want it to be yellow, yellow in the middle. So I want it to be really light. There we go. Look at that cool sun. I just used all my oranges to blend colors. If you go to color the sky, you can mix different colors of blue. This is cerulean blue. But when you color a big space like this or this, always try to color in the same direction. So let me outline my sun first. And by that I mean this. If I'm going to color up and down, then color the whole sky up and down. Don't crisscross it all over the place. So even if it's a little scratchy, 
if it's always going in the same direction, it's going to look pretty good. And the sky goes all the way down to the ground. It doesn't stop here, it goes all the way to the ground, and that's the ground down there. Now I could have drawn more details too, I could have little cars and people and more buildings, but for the sake of moving along, I'm just going to color this in. So that's all colored in the same direction. Now I can go back and just kind of fill in the edges if I want by crossing it, but I don't want to do it too much because it really does show up. You can mix other blues in the sky. This is just blue. If I put this in here, it kind of changes it up a little. Put it here and there. So it just changes the look a little bit. When you use more than one color, that are, as long as they're similar, it makes the picture have more space and looks more interesting than just using one solid color. All right, my expectation is that you outline everything with your black marker or crayon and then color in everything. And I'd like you to try doing some color blending. That's it for this week. I will talk to you again next week.